In the previous part of this tutorial, we designed the for the card form for add a card in the data in our card table. But in this part, we will start by working on the form for add them in the table. So, first thing, let's go back to the form and give the an ID and a name to a, each row. So for the car name, the ID and the name will be car name. And for the car, our price, let meta for the brand is not the brand will not a input, it will be a select with a class of form control and the name will be brand ID let's say brand id and the id will be brand id and let's just remove this this one and for ours brand where we come from the database so we will leave the option as empty and now let's see let's continue here the id will be our price And for this one, ID and name will be day price. And for this one, the ID and the name will be month price. And the button, the action button value will be something that we will leave empty. And let's say that. For this one, it will be good. Secondary, let's say it will be the danger. And for this hidden hidden row is not the brand that we will manage now. It will be the car ID. Now, if you save and you refresh, you will notice that nothing will appear, but this button will disappear. Is something good? We just need to target it and change the text when we click on the button. So let's go back in our JavaScript start and here is this button. Let's add the text of add add the car. So now for the car you notice that when we was when it was a brand we have made some check to make if a brand name was not empty. So we will mix with the same check but is will make it many times and here is not only car name it will be car name brand id our price and here is not our price let's say that is the price will be equal to the price and the last one will be more price and we want to submit only this form if all of these are not empty so let's say if different empty the car card name and let's add the end and brand ID is same thing and let's see our price empty and day price empty and move 
price is different than j. So if only if only if one of these is empty, let's say you want to show a let and error for the test we will say that all fields are required for the icon you want the error account um, try again for the button text and now let's come back and refresh if we click on add new car and we click on add the car we get this error all feed are required try again okay now let's continue our form the next thing is not now is not manage frame that we call is manage gas and we have the same thing here we don't need to change one thing here and let's let's stay on on the on the cast okay now let's go go to back end right now and let's create a, a manage care file so i recommend you to duplicate to manage print and to change the second copy as mcast to manage cast we will use the same thing we will use the operation and we have just to define some different variable like we done to the front end so we have just you see here is car name the second week was brand id the next week will be our price next one will be day price and the final will be month price now let's see we want to check if uh, if the, the car's name already doesn't exist so here the table will be cut and is not brand that not check is a car name and here is car name already taken and here is not inset into brands no this time is inset into cars name brand id because it's in our database Let's see our price with day price and month price. Let's say that by default we want to have the available and let's say by default the card is available and we have the name the brand id the hour plus the day hour and the last one is the false and here is not the brand name is the card name first it's the now the brand id now the hour price and now the day price and for final the month price and here instead of send false it will not recognize let's see if i say if i send false Let it say send the force here. And if all work 
Paul had done well. It's not brand inserted successfully. His car inserted successfully. Okay. So it's good, but before start test start testing this, we need just to get. We need to get all brands. So for get all brand, let's come back to cars. I want something. Uh, what thing I want? I was thinking that I will not need to use it. So let's go to header and check. How I can get brands? I already connect. I can include this function function here, but I will deal with it later. Let's say that I want to get get brands. And this one will be the wrong way. So first thing we want, we just we need just to require the, the database connection. And this is the wrong way. I will think I will find a better way to make it later. And just that I will need to close this one. And let's say that dollar brands query will be equal to database connection and make some prepare request you want to select all from brands and you want just the brand query to be execute and bottom where where we have a brand ID on the input you just need to open some PHP bracket to make a loop and the loop will be constant there's a for each that has dollar brand and close this one here and open this one here And the value will be something like the value will be equal to the brand and the ID here. here is a brand name that you want to get and now we save and we refresh if we click on add new brand and choose brand we have that here Toyota that appear so it's good but it's the wrong way we will make we'll deal with it later to try to search another better way to make something like this so the next thing to do is to go to Data table database and create a new table. This new table's name is cars, and by default, it has an ID that is auto increment. But after the ID, it will have a brand ID. The hour price, let's change our price. It will be a day price, the month price, and let me go to see the model that I see. Let's check month price and available and available. Let me say that here in available, I will make 
it falls here I want to, to know, check what it will give in the database let's say that's how we add available we want the type of boolean the morph price will be integer our price will be integer the brand id will be integer and this one the first i the id of the row will be auto increment the brand id will be in index and it come from brand index execute and now let's save it And so I have a label I have saved boolean not and save now. Now let's refresh and try to add a new card to see what we will get. Let's open the console to display the error if you get some errors. And have a card name, let's say we want car one. Choose brand, we have Dacia. Our price, let's say you have 5 TT will be in dollar. And for the month, let's say we want this one. And click on add car and I, as I have said we get some errors let's say the response will be like no color named we forgot to get to add a name to the cast table let's go to ref retry and let's say it will be after id and it will be the name and let's see it now and let's try one more time and we are car inset successfully and if we go into cast table and you refresh we have name one two and everything added successfully good